now for the next video what we want to do is to get a get one get one to do so we just copy this i don't want to rewrite the whole thing and just get use the get here and then instead of this one we would need And instead of this one, we would need to use the identifier. So we'll have to reference this first before I forget again. Mm -hmm. So get app. Now that we have referenced it, let's see. It says here now it's already working get one to do this gets one to do from the database given a unique ID so to get that we'll use the params cont id is equals to params and we'll re delete this we delete that Aha. Uh -huh. From here on out, we'll get the index of that to do. To do ID is equals to the ID itself. And then, fonts data is equals to to do's index and we just return the data pretty much simple so if we go to our postman and uh, we use this one so let's get an id from our database we should be getting this is to do one send and we are able to get it so yay and that's how easy it is so we should add feet add the ability to get one to do oh uh yes given that we'll have to create a test and we just copy this one because I don't want again to rewrite much of it. We'll just create only one. Uh huh. It should return. So for this one, IDs, use this, IDs 0 to get that ID, should return uh, for the root for getting 1 to do. want to do we'll remove this one oh, not not really to remove but let's just have it here I, I think don't also need should so we just put it here
What do we need to do as well? Uh, just a given to do and has a state status code 200 uh, or when called using get yeah when called using get the data you should have text ID and done it's equals to data Data, sh oh no, not that one. Text should equal, well, we get the to do itself. Const to do's. Get the index. Get the to do itself, uh, to do from to do's index text. Okay, text should equal to do that. I uh, the text done should equal done. And ID, of course, should equal. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> I've been copy pasting the wrong parts. And now it should be this. That's a happy path. There you go. And let's let let's test it out. And it works. So there you go. When we look at um for the root uh, for the route for getting one to do, it should return this one. And it works. Now I forgot something in get many tests, which is to um, create another happy path where we will have a limit where and has a limit of five or well how limit of two items. So limit is two. And it should be two. And that means if we do another test, it should work out. And that means the limit is working. Supposed to be working. And it works. So given that, we'll create a non-happy path. That it should return success false and uh, message error message and as a status code of 404 when called using get and the ID of the to do is non existing so if I do uh, non-existing ID here it should have error uh, code and uh, message and success should be equal to false and status code is 404 And for that, we will be using the should part. So let's copy paste it here. Sh 
Should exist code and should exist message. So let's try it. Let's try it out. And it should fail. There you go. Expected true to be false. That means uh, the success returned true. Um, and we can check it out if we do this non existing ID and send it, it will return something. It's still a success. Where, when in fact, it should not return a success. So, what we will need to do is get if we know that if index is less than zero so that means it's negative one we should return a response so let's use that let's copy this one uh, get do this and then we'll just do a copy of this go back to get and then return a 404 we set a message not found uh, I mean code not found and send a message to do uh, doesn't exist and if we now test it out it should not work or I mean it should work and it should return a powerful which yay it works so let's add it up again feet add a 404 if no existing ID is given which we will commit and for this one uh, test test to see if it returns 404 and commit and it works tada on to the next video